people would say, where's the study? And I'm like, what do you need to study for? I got 4K slow motion video. Right. I'd be in the shower. And my wife um, would have been in there with the oils and all that. And I would get in the shower, even though I did 10 years worth of posture work. And I'd get in the shower and, you know, and all of a sudden I looked down, my knees, my feet would be pointing out and then I'd put them straight. And then I'd put, and then it would be out. And I was like, what, why is the oil? Is it the oil? <laughs> Did, your posture, your sh the way you present yourself is unconscious. So the movement is unconscious. So when I put my foot down in that or some sand, some slippery sand, and all of a sudden the feet go out, you woe to That's who you are. Because mm -hmm. you're, you're like a sponge, the fascia and all this connective to you. So it's just going to go to what the sponge is. You mm -hmm. take a sponge, you let it dry a certain way, it's crooked. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about when you go to squat down? I've noticed that for me when I go to squat down, my toes will automatically yeah. want to go out. You have no length. Correct. It's, it's the ankle being locked up. We call that access. You don't yeah. have access. Mm. Back chain. If that foot is straight, like we talk about that platform that is my foot, it, it needs the word would kind of be like some disassociation there because that ankle, that shin bone that's sitting plugged into the foot, it's a ball and socket. So it's got to have its ability to turn. So when you see someone go to turn the foot out, it's because the ankle's locked up. You're mm -hmm. trying to match the foot to the hip because the ankle don't do it no more. So your foot and your ankle just become this glued concrete piece that you have to open up your body. so that your hip can get there. That's why we give you the rockers. We give you the, you know, the yeah. toe tuck and the, and the bolts to try to get the foot straight. But from an awareness drill standpoint, Andrew, to kind of speak back, mm -hmm. I think just standing is a really good one that, because we put, a, you know, we put Chris on the ground and his knees started to bark. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there might be some people out there listening that they go down, they might get frustrated, but a really cool standing drill is the old hips against the counter. So most of us, <laughs> if you picture yourself standing at a counter, everybody leans that hip against the counter. Everybody right now can, can visualize that. Pull your hip off the counter. That's you moving into the back chain, getting that hip to play behind the rib. Now go back and put your hip against the counter. Go crooked foot. Go inside ankle bone low. Feel how everything funnels down and in to the front side. It gets compressed. Now take your hip or first bring your feet closer together and then pull your hip away from the counter and get your inside ankle bones high. Now you'll feel the system lengthen out. That's a great little inside ankle bone high, back chain dominant awareness drill kind of wrapped into having some sort of tactile feedback with an object in front of me that I can start to kind of, oh, okay, I don't want to go that way. I want to start trending this way. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of that beginning piece that we want to give to people is the education and the awareness. Yeah. If I'm just aware of it at first, I can start to build this momentum to make that recode. Like you would ask about, okay, someone like Chris, how do we start? I look at it as like my WODA, whatever I saw in my assessment is this big, heavy rock that's shaped like a, a, a ball. And when I start to push that ball, the first couple yards, the first, it's hard, it's slow. As I build momentum, I start to pick up speed and it gets easier to push that rock. So if you look at your recode sort of in the same way, at the beginning, it feels like, wow, damn, this is a lot. But as you start to build momentum, that sort of initial like, whoa, I'm so locked up, that changes in a week. Mm -hmm. And then two, week two is even better, week three. So it's a quick road to start moving in the right direction. But some people need a little bit of help, a little bit of awareness go reach out for a coach or start to look at some of those programs to see what fits you. And if you're having problems, you're still having pain, then you know you need someone there to help you and put you into a better spot. Yeah, and before I forget, it was so funny when they were doing our assessment, I swear, like I, I stood there for two seconds, they could figure out why my back was hurting within seconds. And I swear I heard Gary just be like, oh, shit. Like, yep. <laughs> we got some hey, work. Let, let me say something else, <laughs> too. Like, uh, he, he, he did the, uh, the Ben Affleck eye roll. And he was just like, Jesus. Uh, here he goes, guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you something else, too, because he said something, and I know somebody's going to say something out there. Yes, he did say the ankle is a ball and socket. Mm. And yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what your history book <laughs> yeah. says. It's a ball and socket. Because well, we seem to behave at the it. highest yeah, level and like, the safest people. It's right there. The, 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 the design is right there. If you look under that, the cadaver science people, they, they don't even got their own world right. I mean, they, they, you teach the ankle as a hinge. Where in, you know, where'd you get that from? Like, did you look at the talus? If you just look at it, I, mm. I challenge our coaches to do this. Go on to Pinterest or go on Google images and type in the talus, type in these things. Don't worry about what it's called. That's just getting you to the visuals. Just look at it. There's, we, we laughed one time at a lab weekend. I go, Gilly, look. And he goes, what? I go, all the writing for that image of the foot is in German. Yeah. But it didn't fucking matter because we don't worry about the, 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 words. the words. We're looking at the structure. The like Gilly always goes up there and he's got, we got all these fractals of nature on the back wall, you know, showing up in flowers and in hurricanes. And Gilly will show the curve 
of the hurricane or sh the curve of the flower, and then he'll go to the foot and he'll show you the curve of the bones. Everything wants <laughs> to work that way. So just by looking under the hood, but going back to the movement first, right? Watching the tape, watching how it moves, looking at its anatomy, watching how it moves, looking at its anatomy, like, oh, that's how it plays through space. That's see why the supination, pronation, mm -hmm. flex extend makes no sense. Pat Roger family, how's it going? Now, we partner with Vertical Meals, owned by the genius bodybuilder, Stan the Rhino Efferding. Now, Vertical Meals isn't your normal meal prep company. We've talked about the amount of crazy options that they have in terms of the food on their website, from the classic Monster Mash, steak and eggs, just steak, chicken empanadas. But a cool thing they have on their website is called RX Meal Kits. Now, you probably don't know what that is, but if you go to their website and you go to the RX Meal Kits, you can enter in your age, your gender, your height, your weight, if you're trying to gain, maintain, or lose weight, and your activity level. And that calculator is going to spit out meal options and ideas and packages for you for your plan. No other company does this. It's crazy. Stan has thought of everything. So, guys, check out Vertical Meals. And Andrew, how can they get it? Yes, that's over at verticaldiet.com. And when you guys load up that RX meal kit into your cart, use promo code POWERPROJECT to save 20% off that entire order. Again, so you're going to get rid of all the guesswork, all the meal prep work, because nobody likes to do that. And you're going to have these meals shipped directly from Stan Efferding's brain straight to your door. Again, verticaldiet.com. Links to them down in the description, as well as the podcast show notes. It doesn't add up when you yeah. put on the tape. So you got the tape, and you've got that under the hood understanding, and it's just, it's a powerful, yeah. it's it's how we're able to look at you after a second and go, yep, left mm. side. I yeah. think you guys need to go to stick, you know, to just you smack people with it. <laughs> I, I do. Uh, I, 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 golf club, a little mini golf I was club. gonna bring it. It's it's kind of the, the size of this samurai, but it was nice. a it was a mini golf club. It was one of the first weekends hit people that I was down, down. Yeah, that I was down there, and it was this <laughs> Gilly was showing me through a golf club how the hip played, and I was like, oh, and I'm like, what if I just put a tennis ball? on the end of that uh, golf club so it looks more like a ball and socket. Uh, and then we started to play around with it and we would use it to teach. But now mm -hmm. we use it as a stick to kind of, hey, look at your feet. Tap the foot, tap the hip, move your hip back, get the ankle bone high. But yeah, it is. It's a discipline. You, you know, uh, we always talk about what I call the collective delusion or the cognitive entrenchment. The inability to question. And I got to give Bam some love on this one because he, he was telling me this this morning. He said, you know, we go to school and we get the information from the teacher. And then the teacher gives us a test. And then the answer to that test is, you know, yes, no. You get it right? It's yes, you get it, no. Then after a while, we, are f we begin to program our brains to say, I got to answer the test right. And do you never pick up your hand and question What's you don't have the right. Question so the now what happened to me, especially before you got here, Rick, and a few of you guys, and, and, and Gary would watch me go through the hell of social media, but mm -hmm. people would say, where's the study? And I'm like, what do you need to study for? I got 4K slow motion video. Right. I mean, this is this is the latest and greatest technology. The NFL uses it. The Prison NBA system. uses it. I said, you go to a judge and he's got you on videotape raping somebody. You think they're going to say this ain't science? Yeah. And, and they would tell me, slow motion video is not science, Coach Yo. You're, you know, you're a farce. You're Only a, a scientist would say that. <laughs> but I mean, they, they can't even, they could, people can't question mm. anything anymore. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. My back is speaking for everybody now. All the smartest people I ever met, they don't have the right answers. They got the right questions. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's the way I look at it. And you guys all have unconventional thought and yeah. kind of like that's how you landed on this mm -hmm. by uh your own life experiences even pain being the ultimate teacher giving you guys wisdom to investigate more like for yourself just investigating like i got more inside of me like i'm not mm -hmm. supposed this isn't yeah. my this isn't my life this is stupid i i'm way better than this yeah. i could figure this out and for you with uh the different pain that you had you're like i i can solve this you being a great athlete uh having all the exposure to sports all the exposure to all those different coaches over the years you're like why in the hell can't can't someone come along and help me and the answer to that is no they can't <laughs> come along and help you you got to turn you got to turn that question into uh when am i gonna when am i gonna put the uh, onus on myself and when am i gonna go and help myself how do i help myself mm -hmm. and i think that's what all three of you guys have done great and then now 
you're in a position to help so many more people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Andrew, yeah, take us on out yeah, here, okay. buddy. All right. After one quick question. Oh, um, d- yeah, I, I have a, a stand, sit, sit to stand desk. I have this lumbar support. I have a couple of other things that I've gotten for myself in hopes that it's going to help with my back. They're going to say, throw it away. Are there <laughs> any products that are legitimately get a, uh, beneficial? Get a, get a nice Saza chair. Yeah, and what's a uh, well, Saza well, we chair? Uh, 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 no, you get a nice out. kneeling chair. How do you spell that? Get a kneeling well, that's, chair. That's get a good I-Z-A. kneeling chair. Saza. S E I. You want some spelling bees over there? S E I Z A. Rick's the smartest one. Oh, yeah. Listen, the way he answered that question. Listen, he yeah. always he zoned in and just look, was like. Look, we Saza. always joke. We Saza. always joke around RJ's because Gilly Gilly's mm. owns up a, a company called ABC Title. They, they do five minute driver's license renewals and title companies and all. And we was like, you know, like this. it's crazy that a, yeah, a, a license plate salesman. A fucking junkie and a, a washed, <laughs> washed up, up quarterback <laughs> is going to be the ones to change the fitness industry. You know, uh, <laughs> Mark, you, you had said something oh. just now, and I was like, "Well, how how did I have the intuition to do this?" And this is what this is how it happened. Oh, First man. of all, I had to have a wrecked back to even be looking. Second, I because I'm a golfer, we adopted slow motion video in 1995. That's it. That's how to use it. Okay. Yeah, and then and Both then. Together. I had lucky enough because Tony Robbins and all the personal motivating people that I studied their work, I hustled until I had enough businesses cash flowing. Mm. And then once I had enough businesses cash flowing, then I could just get on a plane and say, I want to go see Egoscue Meth. I want to go see Noel Perez's people. I want to go see Kelly. And I would just go to, and then the animal flow, and then the movement. And I would just go to, and I would just sit in those and just, what are they teaching? I don't know. But I'm looking for something. And then I would write stuff down until the geometry presented itself to me. I like yeah. that you started with the finances because that's actually really smart. And I, I think a lot of people, they'll say like, I don't really care about money and they, they get weird about it. But it's like, if the finances are there, it just makes everything more, way more convenient. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear, like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video. So like, comment, subscribe. All right. See you later.